Guys, I know that I've been pumping out nothing but WoW content for the last like two months, but I've told you, I told you before, I love Final Fantasy. My place as Azem will never be replaced by any game. It's magical, it's something I want to be a part of going forward, and so I'm going to play Final Fantasy. You don't have to worry about that. I will be talking about it again, I will be playing it again. Sometimes, you just need a little break, and for me, it's the first break ever from Final Fantasy. So, it's been nice to come back and play some WoW, and I really appreciate those of you, Namels, Cypher8, other people that come from Final Fantasy that have stuck around. It really means the world to me. The same for people who were from WoW who stuck around when I went to Final Fantasy. So thank you guys very much for that. Here we go, chat. We got the one minute countdown. Here we go. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Is it loud enough? We good? Wow, release anything today? No? <laughs> I don't think so. Why would WoW release? This isn't a release, for the record. Stop being in don't be antagonistic. Alright? I see what you're doing, don't do it. Full trailer hype, yes sir. Dude, look at this place. Holy shit, there's a lot of people there. <gasps> Holy shit! Look at this arena! Oh my god! They got the seating there. Let's go, chat! Five! Four, three, two, one. Let's fucking go. It's time for the whole thing. Ooh. Whoa. We got some we got some electric in here now. Was it like that in the last one? Catherine, thank you so much. Clear skies and boundless possibilities. I don't think so. I dare say our destination will soon be in sight. Enjoying yourself for a change? All right. Maybe turn off alerts. Can you hear them? I, I can't turn them off right now, I don't have a way to. Let's not worry about it. They're muted. They're muted now, they're muted. They should be muted. Come now. There's no cause for panic. Just don't subscribe, chat! <laughs> you have nothing to worry about. So far the same? Yeah, sorry guys. I mean the trailer, not alerts. Oh, sorry. Okay, okay. <laughs> I can't wait to see this new city, dude. It looks so fucking cool. Can't wait to actually see it in the game. Finished. Oh? I love this transition, it's pretty, it's pretty dope. Oh. Not getting, oh! Uh. Might you have a moment to speak further? Oh. There's definitely some, some new layers to the music. There's some extra vocals there. There you go. Nut reveal, Pog.
Wow. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, man. There it is, chat. It is like a Picto. What is this? Is this like, is it green? It is Picto. Let's go! Let's fucking go! Let's go! Sick, dude. It is Kryl. Sick. Holy shit. Called it. <laughs> we may have. That's awesome, dude. That's... Wow, look at this. Holy fuck. Whoa. Dude, we're gonna... Wow. We have to watch this back at some point. Holy cow. That's a bridge right there. Look, my friends. Hey! Let's go! My boy! You and your adventures. I trust you have not forgotten the true purpose of our voyage. Hmm. Last, we have come to the land you call the new world. There it is, chat! There it is! And it is the Femroth talking. It was the whole time. Let's go. We were right. We were right. It was her. Let's go. She's so smooth. Yeah, you, the crowd was fucking going nuts right there. Let's go. That was fucking sick, dude. Let's go. Hell yeah, dude. Summer release, too. Let's go. Summer 2024. Let's hear the crowd. Oh. That was hype, dude. Dude, I can't believe it's actually Picto. Let's fucking go! It was so beautiful, dude. The paintbrush and the little fucking... The palette. Ah! I'm so stoked. Dude, I played Final Fantasy VI just in time, dude. Oh my god! There he is. There's the boy. People already throwing a fit. Why not a druid? Why no druid? What the fuck are you talking about, dog? What? 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 Why would you think druid even for a no, what? a baseball jersey? Wow. Final Fantasy. That's nice. There's the man. Look at that drip, dude. It says Warrior of Light on the back. Yo, can we get some blitz ball, dude? Question. I need to make an announcement. Do you really, or are you just attention seeking? What do you. What? What do you want? Just make the fucking announcement. We're busy right now. This is important, Wave. Will discussion go in FanFest 2023 or FFX IV spoils? What do you. Where would you put it? Thank you for coming today. My name is Naoki Yoshida, producer and director of Final Fantasy XIV. Put in the FanFest channel. So, the FanFest is a new global FanFest tour of the Japan Festival of the So, is there any place where I can watch a live translation anywhere? There is a very big difference between the two of us. We're still in 2023, 2024. You will have a translator? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Just turn on subtitles, bro. <laughs> I think he just announced there will be a translator. Okay, okay. This is Tokyo Fan Fest. I don't think they will. <laughs> Chill. Let's not make a bunch of assumptions right now, chat. Just, let's just enjoy ourselves, okay? So please answer. I literally answered you if you would just pay attention, Wave. I, I literally said put it in the FanFest channel. Please. I answered you. Wow. 
あのせっかくの機会なので自分が行けなかった分まで、えー、皆さんに楽しんでほしいというふうにコメントを拝見しました、ね。Yeah, この会場に、nice. えー、いらっしゃる皆さん、nice. そして配信ご覧の皆さん、えー、僕らも含めてですが、そのロードストーンのキーノート、we'll have a live translator。Okay, cool. えー、皆さんに力を届けられればなと思ってますので、どうぞ楽しんでいきましょう。The full trailer is gorgeous. I can't wait to see it uncompressed in the video game. It will look better in game when it's not getting crushed by Twitch bitch rate. Bitch rate. <laughs> bit rate, sorry. Yeah, Yoshida, I'm not going to be able to do it. <笑>あります見てますよ、見てます、見てます。はい、こちらは、えー、YouTube と、えー、Twitch です。I'm gonna play Picto for sure. For anyone wondering, yeah, I'm gonna be playing some Picto. Can't wait to see all the animations for it. <笑>よろしくお願いします。She like painted that water element t h i n g That was sick. ファイナルファンタジー14、新生10周年ということもありますし。えー、世界中の光の戦士の皆さんの。Hope it's actually called Pictomancer though, not like painter or something. I don't give a shit either way. この東京ドームでの、えー、開催となりました、えー。そのお礼の意味も込めてですね。So I wonder why they showed the Green Mage icon. Imagine there's like a third job. They're like, oh, by the way. ここだけはすみません。英語当時通訳あの通訳対応でやらせていただければと思います。全世界で盛り上がっていきたいと思いますので。Green Mage is the lim equals limited job? Yeah, probably. I think so, isn't it? Or did they not confirm that? Had they confirmed? Uh, did they say there's. I think when they said there'd be a new limited job, I think that's when some people started saying it could be Green Mage. That that's what it would be. I don't know. Kate's here. To everyone on stream, I am Kate, the lead English translator, and I am once again here to tell you what Yoshi P says. Ah, I, I am very good at English. Thank you. Arigatou gozaimasu. At the time of the London Fan Fest, Kate was a little bit of a work, so she was a little bit of a work, and she was a little bit of a work. How are you? Good day. Thank, Thank you, man. Appreciate that. 21 months. <laughs> Uh, I was unable to attend the London Fan Fest uh, because I was very busy working on 7.0, so Koji thankfully took over. Um, but it is going well, our development progress, and I am making sure to uh, fuel my motivation with a lot of tacos. Tacos! 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 I'm already seeing people complain about Femros, so we haven't even seen them in game yet. <laughs> yeah, that's the nature of things. That's how it's always going to be. Every single thing, man. Ah, it's whatever. We'll see how the customization options look. It's really hard to animate things like that as well. That's what I was told about Gen Greymane with all this. Flowing hair and stuff. It's really hard to animate that type of shit, so it's pretty cool that they have that in the trailer. This is a dreamlike fan fest being held in Tokyo Dome, and we want to kick it off with my keynote, the subject of which is, of course. The newest information on our expansion, Dawn Trail. きっと三つ目のファンフェスだから発売日出るんだろうなと思っていると思うんですが、すいません計画上の日程は決まってはいるんですが、現状ギリギリまでちょっとすいませんスケジュールの最終調整確認をしております。Uh, so, given that this is the third fan fest, you're probably expecting us to announce the release date of Dawn Trail. Uh, unfortunately, though, we do have an internal date that we are targeting. We are adjusting the schedule, uh, making sure it's fine tuned as much as it possibly can be before announcing, so we will not be sharing that today. There you go, okay, that's alright. I'm not too bent out of shape about that. Make sure it's ready and you're not just like giving a date and then trying to squeeze it in. 
I've seen how that works out. Usually not very good. A week before War Within? Dude, please no. Please no. Um, if you're wondering why, well, it's because, as you know, for N. Walker, for the very first time in my career, uh, we had to delay the release. Um, we don't want that to happen again, even if it's just a few weeks. Uh, so we are taking great care to make sure that our schedule is on track before announcing, but we will get you that info as soon as we can. Lumino, they probably want to avoid a delay like what happened with Ed Walker. <laughs> as, he, as they're saying it, yep, Lumino, right again. How's it feel? We said in 16 we were going to release it in summer, and it came out in June. Uh, we will not be releasing on Square Enix time, we will be releasing on 14 time, which means properly in summer. Nice. So hopefully well before the war within. Um, so we will work very hard to get you that info as soon as possible and we'll have it for you next time. So thank you for your patience. The dawn trains will run on time. When is war within? I don't think we have an exact date, do we? I don't believe so. Fall, I think. Of course, let's talk about the content of Dawn Trail and the thing you're most looking forward to. Let's go, dude. Let's go. What a hype trailer. A new job. Did you figure out what job it is? <laughs> what are they going to call it? Pictomancer or painter? Is it Picto or painter? That's, that's not even a job name. That's not even a before you hear from me, let's see it on video. That's not even a job name, he said. <laughs> what the fuck did you say? It's not even a fucking job name, dude. The fuck, man. Here we go. Banging music, let's go. I like the glam. That's nice. Oh my god. This the sound effects. Ooh, dude. I told you the fucking effects for it would be gorgeous, chat. I love these. I love the pastel colors and shit. Let's go! Dude, it's just like what I thought it would be! That's so sick! Oh my god, I'm gonna play the fuck out of this job. This is way, way more hype than Viper. I'm just gonna say it, chat. Viper's for the edgy boys, Picto's for all of us, all of everyone else <laughs> who just wants pretty colors. That's dope. I wonder in lore how that works. Are they like painting? Like, what is, is it simulacrum based? Like, is it illusory? How does it work from a lore perspective? I can't wait to find out. Maybe, dude, watch it like painting with like dynamis temporarily. Creation magic, that's what I'm like. Pictomancer, let's go! Let's go! It's called Picto! Let's fucking go! They actually called it Pictomancer, let's go! Yeah, uh, at Las Vegas Fan Fest, I wore a very uh, mysterious t shirt. It was the names, dude! It was Michelangelo, Leonardo! I fucking called it! <laughs> That's so I clever. Like I think someone actually job. said that in chat first, and then I was like, that's Gigabrain. So I'm not gonna say I called it. Someone in chat called it. And I heavily agreed with them. So whoever that was, you got a big uh, brain. Might have been Todd, dude. I <laughs> feel like Todd came and said that. It was me? I think it was, I think it was Long Todd. I think he said that to me live. I guess we, we, I think we were there. I can't remember. The Pictomancer off its realms off it, yeah, with the hat and everything. It's cute. 
The paint on the clothes, it's nice. I'm stoked. Uh, FF14's Pictomancer um, has a bit broader of painting skill. They can paint not only monsters, uh, but landscapes and other things, not just the enemies that they are currently facing. That's cool. Uh, and they also have a very unique appearance. Uh, and the Scion Cryle has become Pictomancer. Yeah, job change was just about due. In Kryle? Because Kryle could never ah. fight before, right? She was always sort of stuck watching her, things at home. Her being the one to discover it makes really sense if it's something related role. to like ether or dynamis uh, manipulation. Uh, like Shia Grahati would be very fitting for that. I want the lore on it. Uh, I'm seeing people saying, uh, why isn't Yoshi P cosplaying the Pictomancer? Uh, but honestly, I, I think it would be a little bit difficult for me as a 50-year-old man to portray the image of this job. <laughs> people are like shocked. <laughs> I think you could have pulled it off. Just take out an artist brush. <laughs> yeah, like, what does that even mean, really? Like, yes, you could have. You just didn't want to. You just got this sick drip that he wanted to wear. Oh, let's see. Dude, watch it's like soak him. <laughs> that would be fucking hilarious. No, they wouldn't, they wouldn't do that, but that looks good. <laughs> Watch me be like a 50 year old man couldn't portray this and like Soken comes out in it instead. <laughs> yeah, that would have been hilarious. But... Wow, impressive. That's cute. If she even does a little thing that Kryle does. I like the uh, paintbrush. This, this wouldn't be a good look on me. I see what he's saying. Yeah, if that's what they had slated to wear, I respect his decision. <laughs> Everyone keeps saying, no, it'd be fine, it'd look great, please stop. <laughs> please stop. Uh, so our model here is wearing the job outfit for Pictomancer. How does it feel? Yeah, the angelic look to the uh, paintbrush is really cool. Kind of reminds me of creation a little bit. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Oh, I like the little backpack thing. My gear was also high quality, but man, this is impressive. That's cute. Uh, it's, it's a painting case. It's like a little art case. <gasps> That's adorable. So she's got on her back. It's like a little art case. Um, so let's look at the details of this job. Magical range DPS. Let's go. Nice. Just like my other mains. Let's go. Range magical DPS. Let's fucking go. Weapon brush. <laughs> oh. Uh, and they have a special weapon that is their brush. Hope the box can be removed. It might correspond to the wand. That's what I hope. But or to the, the brush. But let's be honest, that probably won't be the case. I don't think they'll make the machinist thing again. We'll see, though. Uh, I, I see you all on the stream saying you wanted to see my midriff. Please, please stop and pay attention now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's talking to you, chat. He's talking to you, chatters. Um, so there is no requisite class for this job. You can just start from the job itself. Starting level 80, okay. Doesn't require anything, that's that's good. Gridania. Makes sense. And the job quest will be beginning in Gridania. 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 Uh, so long as you've completed the requirements, you will be able to pick up this job right as soon as you get into Dawn Trail. Let's go! Nice. I'm gonna be playing that, chat. It's been a long that's what's gonna be a... Had a job quest starting shocking, I know.
Uh, the job quests themselves are also very unique, so I hope you'll look forward to that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I want to know. Uh, now let's talk I want to know what they're like in combat. Works in the medium of mixed ether, wielding a specialized brush to render their imaginings reality. I mean, uh, that sounds a lot like creation magic. Oh, what? Aether in their brush um, to release their power by drawing pictures. Shooting stars? Yeah. It is the magic of an artist. Aha, uh -huh. that's one way to put it. Not just creatures and weapons, but landscapes. They even use the word creations. These creations. <laughs> I love it. I mean, what else are they going to call it? But Luminous, same brain cell. Uh, but regardless of what enemy they're facing, FF14's Pictomancer can draw... Uh, creatures, weapons, and even landscapes. New caster. Not limited job, new caster. Green mage could be the limited job. Which is probably why they were willing to reveal the green mage icon like so, so far ahead of time. Why are you saying oof? It's going to be sick. Um, we have quite a few original uh, visual effects for Pixel you. Answer to really make it look like they are. Looks fucking drawn. awesome. I can't wait to play it. As evoking such wonders takes time, the Pictomancer also keeps instant cast abilities and spells at the ready. Evoking such wonders. Yo! Love it! I love the wording. Dude, I cannot wait. I can't wait to do the fucking job quest. Uh, and the Pictomancer does not simply attack, they also have magic that can buff their party. Hmm, okay. I wonder who will be the job teacher? Probably whoever teaches Cryo? <laughs> Sub DPS? Um, we wouldn't say it's a full support job, if that's what you're thinking, um, but it is not quite so attack focused as something like Black Mage. Thank God! <laughs> I mean, I mean, what? Black Mage is, I mean, it's, I love Black Mage. It's the best job. Uh, I love it. Range magical DPS right now? 2,000 hours of it didn't break my psyche at all. No. Quite a few. Pictomancers cannot res you. Oh, I don't have any extra responsibilities. <laughs> Let's go! So I think you have a good idea now in your mind of what Pictomancer might be like. So with that, let's take another look at the video. This job is made for you. It really is. That's how it feels. Let's see it again. Yeah, I think that that art easel or not easel, the uh the case on the back is just part of the top that they're wearing. It's part of the job gear. It's not going to be an accessory like what you were thinking for like a machinist. It's just part of the, the job gear. It looked for a minute like it was like a thing, but... I love the animations and the sounds, dude. I love that animation. That's so sick. I love it. It doesn't look like the trailer includes the graphical overhaul either, no. Nope. Or the compression fucking sucks. I'm, I, I, I don't think it had the updated lighting. I don't think it, I don't, it didn't, I don't know. To me it doesn't look like it, but I could be wrong. Works in the medium uh, so of mixed a question ether. From the chat, um, asking, okay, even if I am just terrible at art, can I be Pictomancer? And it literally says Mancer in the name, dude. That's just great. <laughs> Pictomancer. Pictomancer. <laughs> 
My I, it, it's not, it does not require artistic skill. Hi, Romancer the Pictomancer. I can't wait. Thank you to our Pictomancer. Mixed ether, maybe using the full spectrum of the elements? Maybe, Lumino. Maybe all the different polarities of them, too, uh, not just, uh, maybe not just one of them. Maybe it's, maybe they're all additive. I don't know. Duplicant. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, so in FF6, uh, both the original and remaster, uh, Pictomancer had previously been translated as Duplicant. We also do have most of our soul back as Azem, so maybe we're like, I don't know, similar to Kryl, maybe we, we have enough parts of us to do like creation uh, yes, magic. Duplicate has a, has a bit of a special meaning in sick. MMOs, you know, dupes of items. LB3 happy little trees. Dude, why can't wait to see what the LB3 looks like? That's a good point. That's why they translated it with a name that means duplication. LB1, 2, and 3. Summon Bob Ross. <laughs> The Bob Ross cosplays in game are going to be off the fucking chain. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Put a couple of happy trees over here. Um, however, because 14's Pictomancer uh, is focused around creating original works of art, not just duplicating, um, we thought there would be quite a gap between the name if we creating the original works of art, um, so not duplicating. Did you hear that, will now be using dude? This new name, I think. Pictomont. Dude, they're leaning. They're, I think they really. What, we're gonna see, but I think they might lean into this creation thing. That's 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 really cool, especially after the twelve and everything. I think that's that's cool. Uh, so in a future <clears throat> Final Fantasy games, you will see uh, Pictomont as the name for this job. Um, so please know that's not a mistake. We didn't forget the old name. This is the choice we made for all of Final Fantasy. With Look at the foresight involved. of them to um, just so say it now you, because and, uh, they knew people were going to fucking freak out of the, the future. Name. We didn't do it wrong. It's, a, it's on purpose. Pictoman. In German. The job quest is AI artist being the antagonist. Uh, Yo, that's, that's so meta. I would love that. That'd be so sick. You're like fighting machine generated art. You're like trying to take it down. It's unnatural and it's corrupting the world. <laughs> Some AI artist douchebag. This guy's like claiming that his art is amazing. It's like his own art. Then you find out he has a robot painting his art for him. <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, but you know, as we the robots like copying like your art and then like really need to using adapt, it as like logic to make um, its own art. That is best for Final Fantasy's future. Um, and this time it only affected German, but I think it will probably happen <laughs> in all sick. languages um, at certain points. Um, so just remember that that's what we're bearing in mind when we. He says a mammoth making art for him. Yeah, yeah. It's like so looking at your art, like, oh, I like the colors on this one. <laughs> Makes a new art. You know, like in painting. He claims that as his own. It's like an art competition um, so let's or something. Move on to the story I don't know. Of Dawn Trail, uh, which will feature myriad characters. Winds of opportunity bring a visitor from the far west, seeking the warrior of light. Light's aid and a right of succession to determine to roll's next uh, As we've mentioned, we will be giving you the Hope's greatest light, summer vacation a warrior of light could have. Papa Hildy! Papa Hildy! I've been working on my painting! Look what I can do! Uh, the site of this vacation and our new adventure will be the continent of Tural. <laughs> uh, 
Little do they know, they'll also see the Scions divided. Uh, and the reason we will be going there is for the right of succession for a nation over there. The fabled gold cities of the new world. He fucking spoiled everything. Emmett Selk, this guy. It's her. Looks good, I think. This character is Wuklamat. She's the daughter of the current ruler of Tural. Probably. But the city being gold might not be a good thing. We're gonna find out what it means. I feel like I haven't seen this before. Is it a Mikote? So this yo I think it's just a really, really fuzzy Mikote. Don't worry about it. えこの多い決勝レースというのは様々な候補者が入り乱れて競うものになっていますあそうインディスライトオブセクセッションウィルビーコンピーティングウィズアザーベリアスコンテスタントフォーザトローンそのおい決勝レースのどっちですね様々な
Dude, this is like Mexico down here. <laughs> and on the left is what we've shown you so far. That's what it looks like, kind of from that, like from just from the shape. I like it. <gasps> what the fuck is that? There's like a giant shield around it. Is it like in the mount in the mountains? It has like a giant light shield around it. Do you see that? What the fuck is that? Uh, but Tural is actually a very massive continent. There's red lightning. From north to south, oh. and we will be going that full length during our adventure. Was it something that happened from... No way, dude. What if there's like... Oh, what if it's like a place that like uh, the final days was happening to and they sealed it off and it's like a, like a big bubble like Suramar City. And like there's, there's terrible things in there. That'd be sick. Uh, and this is the new player hub that we introduced to the Yolal. I like that. I better be able to swim in this fucking water. Tuliolo actually functions as a bridge connecting the north and south parts of the continent of Tural. A place ruled by automatons. Oh, that's beautiful, uh, as you dude. Saw in the trailer, there is a literal bridge. Yeah. That's cool. Edge of the world type shit. I love that look. Um, so the Tugliolo will be at the center of our adventure. It will span from north to south of Tural. Colorado, about where that thing on the map was? It could be aliens, Chad. It could, I'm just going to say, Chad. I mean, at this point, it is the Wild West. It could be aliens. It's probably aliens. Alien Alligans. Alien Alligans that left and came back. story developments in both North and South Tyrol that will change the story significantly. So you can almost think of it as a two-part structure. Alien Alligans from another shard. The Ronkin Empire had they kept going, but they came here. あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
We're going to show us some less natural scenes. Show me the inside of an alien spaceship. Uh, but those were areas you've seen before, so let's look at some that you haven't. I did beat Subnautica. Oh yeah, fantastic game. I have 45 hours in that game. Super good game. I want to play the second one eventually. I own it. I have it installed. Just have to play it. Uh, these are pretty different from what you've seen so far, and uh, for that same reason, we can't tell you a whole lot about them. Chat. 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 Uh, please understand. Chat. Um, we'll start with a video. What is that? Is that like a human? What is that on the wall? Is it what is this? Is this like a crossover or is this something original? What is this? No, this is like what the is this? What what what? what? They have chocobos. They have. Uh, yeah, so that was a pretty sudden change of visuals there. <laughs> Yeah. Is this what's inside the bubble? What the fuck is this? Solution 9? Uh, we really can't show you a lot of specific uh, objects from this area because it would be spoilers. But is it a hologram? Solution 9. Solution 9. I bet this isn't even... I bet this maybe not... This might not be real. This might be a dungeon or something. Well, what is this? It almost looks like a simulation. Um, this too uh, will function as a town, uh, much like the player hub of Tuliolal. What? What? A city of towering facades, constructed by an entirely different civilization than that of Tuliolal. What the fuck? Towering facades. Uh, so this has been constructed by a totally different civilization than Tuliolal. I mean, it's like hyper techy, so I want to say Alligans, but. Uh, I think you can probably tell just by looking. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's such a wicked change. Right, that's what I'm thinking. Solution 9, it's like maybe a solution to a problem. Is this like a look? It's like a simulated city. You see what I'm saying? That's towering facades. They're not. They're not like real buildings. Me? I feel like we are loudly destroying uh, any mental image you might have had for Dawn Trail. What if it's right like now? an afterlife solution type thing? Locked themselves inside during the final days and had to come up with an afterlife because something was happening to their souls or something? Maybe this is like a simulated afterlife. It's like it's like Outer Wilds vibes. Outer Wilds DLC vibes. Solution nine. It makes me think like there's eight other solutions that they thought about, right? A solution for what? Uh, but are these buildings? Is I would this a think. Facility? Uh, in any case, it's quite different from what we've seen. That's where I'm going to go with it. Solution for a calamity, maybe. Like I'm saying, it, this thing, this civilization could be so old, it could be the, a solution for, again, for like the final days. Who knows how old this is from? I mean, if Tulia Lal and all this shit is that old, then this is hyper advanced. Like, this, is, this has got to be something that... I mean, it's either alien or it's from, like, the era that the ancients were from and has, like, in some capacity maybe lasted and advanced uh, but, to the know, point where they can... What this place actually is, what sort of yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Just, that's just where my um, mind goes right now. When I see large simulated cities and think about Matrix concepts and why they have, why they would exist, escaping, the, escaping death or creating your own afterlife is one very p interesting option. Look at this. What the fuck? Uh, this is the concept art. What in the fuck is this? Is this just aliens? Heritage found. And this area is called Heritage Found. Heritage. Under, it looks like it's underneath another city. Dude, it almost looks like, you know what it looks like, bro. It looks like Midgar. It looks like the fucking upper plate. We're down in the Sector 6 slums right now. Sector 5 slums, bro. The train and everything, dog? That's Mako City. 
Yo, it's fucking Midgar, bro. Solution 9 is the name of one of Zidane's limit breaks from FF9. <gasps> Why would an entire civil different civilization build an entire town on Aetheris? Because Aetheris is the core component of the shards. So if someone could travel from one of the other shards and live here, I feel like that's a preferential existence, potentially. <laughs> Uh, Considering if uh, a shard undergoes a calamity, the shard's completely lost, but the source isn't. I'd want to live here. <laughs> Prefer to a shard, personally. I don't know, just my thought. What if Solution 9 is one of the other shards? Could be. Could be. Could be a simulation of their home. Could be where they came from. This is... It's almost giving me like Void Tech kind of vibes. Like evolved Maki Empire type shit. FF9 a lot of previous FFRFs with it. Emmett did say some of the other shards would surprise us. That's very true. It could be aliens from like another shard. But not quite. Hmm. And Garlemald was very black and red. Hmm. Um, Their etherites are interesting. They look like data fragments and shit. Thing, whatever it is, a tower maybe? Bro, that shirt looks like fucking Midgard. It's hilarious. Kind of Omicron y, yeah, but it's all purple. It's interesting. Yeah. A little bit of blue. This is not a dungeon. It's Midgard. <laughs> Again, <laughs> like, what the fuck? I wonder what kind of uh, big fish you can fish up here. It's not Omicron to me, guys. We're not saying it's Omicron. We're just, it's people can point out slight similarities without saying that that's what it is. Just calm down. Doesn't need to take it so seriously. Look at the pretty colors and shut up. It's gonna be fine. Um, but what we've shown you is that let people just say their ideas. It's fine. It's gonna be okay. Areas and things to experience. So let your imagination run wild. We're gonna have lots of ideas and lots of time to talk about them. It's gonna be fun. Um, but let's now that we've talked about the areas, let's talk about the people who live there who might become your potential allies. Yeah, so that, yeah, that's an FF10 reference, which I really like. Yeah, the Pelu Pelu is so cool. Moblins are whatever. I don't give a shit. It's fucking goblins with another name. Oh, but that, they have the icon thing that was. Uh, so that white building area, they showed earlier was the Moblin place. It had this on it. In some Banu Banu. Uh, we also have these colorful folks who look quite similar to the Vanu Vanu, and indeed they are called the Hanu Hanu. The Hanu Hanu. Nice. Um, yes, so they are called the Hanu Hanu. <laughs> Anu Anu equals fat parrots. Nice. Oh, cool. Look at all the different Mamulja. That's sick. Mamulja. Mamulja. The little baby one. And the Hanu Hanu hate dancing. The most prominent example is, of course, the current ruler of Tuliolo. Two-headed Gulul Jaja, um, but there are plenty of other Mamulja of all shapes and sizes. まあ、ここでちょっとスクリーンショットで紹介しているのは、まあ、その一部になりますが、多様な部族が登場して物語の中でもその部族同士の多くの価値観というのが物語上提示されていきます。
This expansion took a 180 on how people thought it was going. Small <laughs> sampling. It always does, man. It does. In, it, it happens in WoW. Happens in FF. They always started out with something and surprise you. I see an ounce of Greek in Dawn Trail. I'm going to die. I don't know how much Greek you're going to see in the new world. We'll see, though. I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, how meeting the Momulja will change your adventure and also how you specifically. I don't know if you're going to get much Greek influence in the new world. But we'll see. You never know. If you get any ancient stuff, could be. <laughs> we get, instead, we get Boston. We get Boston. Um, so now let's move on to system updates and more details about the individual content. Let's take Boston. Boston and lots of racism. <laughs> The new um, so world. We will we'll be giving an overview of all of 7.0 as well as 7.x, uh, including as much new information as we can share right now. Cool. Give it up. Yeah. 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 I'll take the 100 level. As we've said a few times, Fucking Dawn Trail. Fucking Dawn Trail. How many of you have been playing since 1.0? ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。It's been more than 13 years together. I'm fucking walking in. わ、すごいコメントでもたくさんね手を挙げていただいてます。本当にありがとうございます。皆さんのおかげでね。コメントです。Thank you all so much. Um, it, we've gotten to this point because of you. もちろん、え、新生スタートのタイミングから始めてくださった方、ま、最近始めてくださった方も含めて、ま、光の選手の皆さんがいてくださるからこそ、ここまでね、我々開発チームの長い旅でも、この10年あったと思うので、その果てに
、えー、もちろん多数の新ダンジョンをご用意してあります。うん And of course, we will be having many new dungeons. The progress on dungeons is going quite well, actually. In the past, the progress on dungeons is going quite well, actually. In the past, the progress on dungeons is going quite well, actually. In the past, the progress on dungeons is going quite well, actually. In the past, the progress on dungeons is going quite well, actually. In the past, the progress on dungeons is going quite well, actually. In the past, the progress on dungeons is going quite well, actually. In the past, the progress on dungeons is going quite well, actually. In the past, the progress on dungeons is going quite well, actually. In the past, the progress on dungeons is going quite well, actually. どうぞ。ゲミゲミ。Right, we're on a boat for this one. At least some of it. Whoa, yo, that looks just like、uh, that looks like a lot like a place from、um, FF16, actually. Reminds me a lot of the、uh, when you land at the Iron Kingdom. Yeah, this theme is sick. ソケンの方からも言われてますが、まだ曲はモックアップなので、えー、これが最終クオリティだと思わないでねって言ってると思いますんで、えー、お伝えしておきます。Uh, I will tell you I have a message from Soken, which is that this the this version of the music is just a draft. It's not done yet.、えー、制作の方は非常に順調に進んでおります。いくつかのダンジョンはですね、僕の、えー、一時チェック、道中チェック完了しているものもちらほら出始めております。Um, but our progress with the dungeons really is proceeding well.、Um, I've gotten to the point of our, my first stage of quality checks on some of them. I'd like to take a look at a few enemies. So the first one's Valley Garmanda. I don't know what the second one is. And then the last one's a fucking rip car, dude. The ones we've introduced so far, Valley Garmanda, Eliminator, and there are also some interesting monsters outside of the major bosses. This this thing looks like it it lifts, perhaps too much. Do you lift, bro? That character's like fuck yeah, I do. どうやら名前はバレルテンダーというらしいです。Uh, so this super buff sabotender is called the barrel tender. <laughs> I can't imagine it will do much rather than just punch the heck out of you. <laughs> Beat that thing in a fucking pull up competition. I think、cloud. it's not just the NPCs、uh, in the new environment that are exciting. Part of it is experiencing these unique monsters as well. Looks like a Digimon. That thing in the middle is really cool looking.、Uh, and of course,、uh, while you're fighting, you will want these、uh, duty support updates on your journey. ついにコンテンツサポーターデビューのような気がしております。クルさんおめでとうございます。ちょっとね、僕クルルさんにはちょっと歌詞が大きな歌詞が一個消せないやつがずっとあるんで。I have a lot of feelings about Kral. 貸しじゃない仮だったもうやばいやばいのが一個あるんでねもうちょっとちょっとずつ恩返ししていこうかなと思ってます。I, I feel I really owe her one, so let's let's use this to pay her back. コンテンツサポーターたちはストーリー上でのボスとの戦いというのでも、えー、しっかり活躍してくれることと思います。Uh, I think you'll find these updates very useful、uh, when progressing through the story.、えー、では続いて多数の装備それから新しいクラフトというものがやっぱり拡張パッ,クパッケージなので大量に登場してきます
Uh, of course, as it's an expansion, we will have a lot of new gear and recipes. え今回拡張 7.0 で新たに登場する新装備というのはすべて第一次グラフィックスアップデートの使用によって最初から豪華に作られていますので 7.0 の新装備のクオリティというところにもぜひご注目ください。Um, so all of the new gear that is implemented in 7.0 will have the graphics update applied to it. Um, so definitely take a look at that quality once you get in game. <laughs> look at that quality. Uh, these are still in development, but we did bring a few screenshots. So let's take a look. Hmm. I like these. They look nice. I think they look nice, chat. What do you guys think? Um, right. So from the left, we have Summoner, Samurai, Sage, and Gunbreaker. えどうしてもスクリーンショットでは分かりにくいんですが、今回それぞれのパーツに異なる素材感というそれか質感、シワの入れ方っていうのまで相当こだわって作ってます。it's a little bit hard to tell from the screenshots, um, but meh. each element of these outfits uh, in terms of textures, quality, and details um, are really much improved. Um, I think especially the quality of the cloth really stands out. え、手に入れた際にはですね、ぜひ、ま、冒険ゆっくり一段落してからでいいので、じっくりちょっと装備というのも見ていただけると、え、開発チーム喜ぶと思います。Um、of course, over the course of your adventure, um, once you have time for a break, I hope you'll take a close look at this gear. Uh, that would make the devs really happy. え、そしてこちら。飛行士リーパー、先生術師、そしてナイフ。Reaper looks fucking sick. Um, that so pop. The Reaper and those blue pants. Reaper, are fucking sick. Uh, Astrologian and Paladin. Astro looks like it's about to go to bed. あれですね、飛行士のあたりわかりやすいかもしれないですね、クオリティ。I think the quality might be easiest to see with the machinist. え、これら装備はブラッシュアップ、それから調整というのをリリースギリギリまで続けていきます。And we will continue brushing up and improving the this gear right until release. もちろん、え、ジョブ専用装備だけでなくおしゃれ装備というところにもご注目ください。Um of course it won't just be job gear, we'll also have plenty of fashionable gear for you as well. え、ご紹介しましたので、次の項目進みたいと思います。新たな生活系の大規模コンテンツやりますよというお話をさせていただいてました。Oh. Uh, and finally, our plans have come together, so we do have concept art of that to show you. Um, is that uh, what I think it is? Wow, where are we going now? Are we doing moon housing and moon restoration? Uh, so as perhaps you can guess, the next lifestyle content will take you to various different planets. Oh. Okay, let's slow down, chat. Let's slow down. That's even crazier. Uh, if it was just Planets. one, you wouldn't get much variety in the scenery, so we thought we'd give you a bunch uh, so you could get a sense of progress. Eh, um, you're thinking, oh, all right, I'll let me go on an adventure to the continent of Tural, but let me just uh, pop over to this other planet also. え、こちらのコンテンツタイトル、このようになっています。コスモエクスプローラーと言います。あの、the main of this content will be cosmic exploration. We're doing that. So the purple civilization is definitely aliens chat. To make progress. If the fucking casual content is cosmic exploration, the purple dudes are aliens. <laughs> like... 
Um, and with each update, the star that you were working on will change. え、どんなワクセオをこうめぐっていくのか、そこでね、どんなドラマが待ち受けているのか。メインクエストとは異なりますが、パッチ7.Xシリーズ順次こう展開されていく、まあ、長期間のコンテンツになっていますので、ぜ
The Arcadian. What sort of story will it be, I wonder? I unironically think you called it already with aliens, but I can't say why. Uh, and the story itself will be a complete FF14 original. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I guess we need to win this for uh, uh, this raid for the graphics update. For you to enjoy the story as well as the higher difficulty Savage. Oh, that thing is probably the raid generating the simulation, by the way. That thing is probably the center, central core that is generating probably some of that other shit. And so if we go in, we're probably going to learn what runs it, what shuts it down, how it works, what's fueling it, who made it, that type of stuff. That's kind of what I would think. It's probably the core of the whole thing. So that is our eight person raid. Sort of like the Omega raid? Kind of, yeah. It's the central processing station, probably, to. Uh... You mean ultimate raids? I mean, I like the easy ultimates. I've done Ulu and Yukab. I'm a real legend. New ultimate raid. Uh, and we Here it comes, chat. Uh, the planning and development for this is already moving along. Uh, as for the theme, what will it be? Eden Ultimate? Zenos. Shinryu, I think, would be next. Shinryu should be next, I think. <laughs> Eden would be sick. Eden or Shinryu would be sick. I don't give a fuck. Either one. Just Xenos over and over. We're thinking we're going to go in order of... Oh. Eden. Eden. Arcadian sounds Greek. There's a non-zero chance we're getting more Ancients lore after all. It is Eden. Let's go. And they've got Reen and Gaia all yeah, over the art for it. Sick. Let's go. They skip Shinru. Let's do it. We got Eden, baby. Eden fucking slaps. Dude, Eden ultimate is going to be fucking insane. The combined powers of Reen and Gaia as light and darkness, dude. Give me a mish, give me a mashup due to the Oracle of Light. Futures rewritten. Huh. Dude, the, the potential for the narrative. I know that it's not canon, but the, you know how they kind of explore opportunities and stuff? This is going to be sick. Time for Fru. 5.4。Because I know what Arcadia is. You guys don't need to explain the fucking... This is, even now, a popular story. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys. I don't need the etymology of the fucking word. What we will do with them in this raid. I understand what Arcadion means. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we are planning future to legend. In Ooh. We're going to fight zombies? Uh, so we hope you'll take Nazi your zombies? Nazi zombies? <laughs> We are unfucking Criterion. Uh, now some quick updates uh, on our ongoing content updates. Blue Mage, Inconceivable, New Deep Dungeon Gold, Sauce, and PvP. I think you really need to play FF9. Didn't they kind of confirm that, like, they're not going to be remastering that anytime soon? Should I just mod it and play it? How am I going to play it, though? Don't I have to emulate it? 
No, do I own it? FF9? Uh, Hildebrand is really eating up our budget uh, with his fancy cutscenes, but the development team really wants to do it, so there will be more Hildebrand. Okay, the development team's really into it. That's sick. Why? Why? Um, our major PvP updates will be starting from 7.1 uh, because we feel you have plenty to keep you occupied with 7.0. Uh, um, and we've received a lot of feedback on this subject, yeah, okay. so we want to talk a little bit about new field operations. We'll play it. We'll, we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll, we'll play it. I've heard it's fucking phenomenal anyway, so I'm sure I mean, get some mods and make it look a little bit better because I hate old graphics because I'm a fucking Scrooge. So, besides if it's RuneScape, I like RuneScape old graphics, but that's because I have the nostalgia. Even then, I like updated graphics for RuneScape. So. New Baja? New Eureka? Yes? Uh, this will be something for a lot of players to participate in simultaneously in order to clear. Um, so please wait a bit and we'll give you some more information. Need to finish FF5 first though? We're gonna have to come back to FF5 and just circle back on that. That's been a dead dream for about six months. Probably longer. Yeah, the times have really changed because I remember when we started with Eureka, everyone was like, oh, Eureka. Eureka fucking slaps, bro. People that don't like Eureka can suck a fat nut. Suck a fat nut. Eureka slaps. Slaps, bro. Eureka's better than Baja. There, I said it. But Mikote and Messia's fucking... Messia's, uh... Um, uh, story was pretty end, good, we though. Hard to I like that a lot. Content, uh, into something that a lot. God of save the queen. Um, and we have taken break for a while, but it will be back now, and we look forward to developing is more it similar field operations. It, no, they're not going to do it, but uh, let it be Manderville. Please, can we, can we go to Manderville? Our relics, our Manderville relics already okay, done, though. One more so fucking lame. Wise. They should have fucking done Manderville. A new limited job. Green mage, there it is, chat. It's going to be green. Here we come. That's a blue mage, actually, but it's going to be green. Uh, so we announced before that we will be having a new limited job. Could be green mage. They showed the icon. That's why they didn't give a fuck about spoiling it in the game, because it's a fucking limited time job. Who gives a shit? It's going to be green mage. I'll eat my words really hard. Today we will tell you just the name of this job. It is BM, yo! It's fucking BM, Chad! Holy shit! It's fucking BM! Let's go! Holy shit! Sick! It is New World stuff, so I guess a lot of you probably felt like that was gonna be pretty likely. That's sick! FF10 Pokemon, let's go! Um, as a limited job, of course, we are proceeding uh, with plans to allow you to play solo or uh, in parties with other limited jobs. Nice. I want to be the very best that no one ever was. Mm. Um, as it is Beastmaster, we are thinking of having some kind of collection feature to go with it, obviously. Um, once we have art and more information, we will share it with you. Cool. Beastmaster confirmed. Let's go. You have to play Beast in 11? I don't think I'm going to play FF11. Um, so that is our updates about 7.0 and 7.x. Uh, but I do also want to take a moment to talk about the graphics update and its current progress. Don't play 11 or ruin your life. The time to play FF11 is long gone. 
皆さんのプレイヤーキャラクターどうなっていくのかその種族がどうなったのか気になっているかと思います Um, so it is proceeding quite well, but as a massive update,、uh, we're con currently contending with bugs.、Uh, but I'm sure you want to see how all the different races are coming along. Yeah, that'd be sick. Let's go. It's all menus. In 11.、Yeah. Uh, so I will now show you a little bit about、uh, each, each race that you might want to play. Look at the stream quality, by the way. Ugh, look at that derpy ass looking Highlander. Ugh. Uh, so let's start with a Huron Midlander male. Uh, ここからですね、皆さん画面を見て、左側が、えー、今のグラフィックスの状態、右に新しいバージョン、グラフィックスアップデートが入った状態を表示していきますので、えー、ご理解ください。Uh, so on the left, we'll be showing、uh, the current or original version,、um, and on the right, we'll be showing the new version with the graphics update. Let's see. こちらが、see. Huron、グラフィックスアップデート版だとこのようになって。I don't even remember races anymore. <laughs> Is it here? You said Highlander. Oh. I, mean, I think I was thinking here and, and Midlander, so I said Highlander. <laughs> Hair looks better? Oh, way better. Hair is way better. The texture resolution is significantly improved, and the face looks more natural now. でまあ、繰り返し言ってますけど、Definitely. もっとなんかギラギラとかにするのもできるんですけど、まあ、皆さんの,gear, I mean, the the その役者のイメージ、I mean, look at that. のイメージっていうのを損なわないようにしっかりアップデートを行ってます。そのイメージがいまいちわからんっていうのは、ある意味ちょっと褒め言葉のような気もしてます。Uh, as, as I've said before, we could do more, <laughs> you know, change things more, smoothing things more. Even the bricks behind, yeah. Everything. Keep the image of the characters the same. So, honestly, if you think, oh, it doesn't look that different, that's kind of a good thing.、ね、the building textures are so gross. <laughs> They really are. They're getting a lot of, yeah, it's, it's a huge update for that. I'm, I'm, I'm stoked. Are they applying the same tech to the world? Yes. <laughs> The graphical update will eventually affect everything. Primarily lighting and resolution. Some models have been redone. A lot of new reflections. Subsurface scattering. Here is the Midlander female. Here's the original. And updated. I mean, yeah, that's much better. That's what, yeah, that's like what your characters look like modded. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, like, that's what mods do. And that looks much better. As you can see, the hair texture, as well as much higher hair texture, better ear, I mean, everything on the skin is better, better softness of shadows, especially through the neck. Around the,、uh, around the chin, under the eyes, and above, underneath the hairline. Way softer shadows. More depth to the eyes. Not as flat. Better shadowing in the eyes. The eyes actually shadowed with the brow now. Yep. yep. Way softer. Way better.、Uh, yeah, the reflective nature, the reflecti reflection on the skin. It's much better, dude. It's significant. I mean, it's. With the new version. He actually looks like he has skin now instead of just Play Doh. Yeah, that's much nicer. Some actual reflection, some actual depth to the skin. They have texture now. You don't just look like a fucking melted piece of chocolate. Yeah, that's much better. It looks really nice. Only thing that wasn't updated here, well, it was, but it's not nearly as noticeable as the beads and the hair. They were updated, but everything else is more noticeable, I think. Uh, yes, before we, we sort of had a mishmash of、uh, textures looking there, but there, it's a lot smoother. The、now. scar also looks way more natural. Like you actually got cut along the surface of a skin that's not a flat surface. Instead of just, a, you know, looks much better. Original. Updated. The color is so muted, though. I don't really think so. It's much better than what it was before, in my opinion. It also doesn't help that they're doing. White hair, white skin,、uh, white see, eyes. Become a lot more natural, especially around the hairline. Yeah, the lighting from the hair is significantly better, and on the hair. Yori hakkiri shimashita no de. Yappari memoto no kara make っていうのは今回どの種族もかなり幅が広い。I think we already cracked what the eight-man raid is going to be on Discord. Really? 
the features are much better defined, um, so that will allow you to get a lot more specific in your character creation. Oh, it could be Hamarut. Yeah, yeah. Arcadian, Greek mythology is a virgin wilderness, home of the god of the forest and his court of dryads and imps and other spirits of nature. Arcadian, yeah, yeah. I think it's like a, they tried to build a... Yeah, I think that we're already probably kind of on track, but we'll see. That's nice. Big love for Elizin. Your face no longer looks like it's crumbling. The chin is so much better. Do the cheek line, way better. Nose, I mean, it just all looks way better. Is it just me or did they nerf their neck? I bet if we took a flat surface and went across, I think it's the same. I think they changed the angle maybe a little bit. Or maybe just the hair makes it look different. I think the hair is what's doing that. The neck is the same. He, he might look a bit younger and fresher than before. Yeah. Oh, let's see my Themizen. Let's go. Let's see it. This is what mine is currently. Yeah, it's going to be nice, dude. Yeah, that's going to be nice. Elizen needed it so bad. They really, really did. Lips are more pronounced. They're not just like smeared onto the face. The lips look, the lips and the eyes, I mean, it's really just, the whole thing is better. Every, literally every part of it is better. The gear, yep. Look at the texture on the gear. It actually looks like a pleather or leather now. With like a little bit of a shine on the on the straps and stuff. It's just, oh man, it's so big. Previously, the shadow with the bangs was not very natural, but now it is much improved. Yeah, it looks... Ah, fuck, dude. I just have nothing but good things to say when they show this stuff. I, I, I just have nothing but good things to say. Everything looks more natural. If you look at the collar of her gear, you can see the improvement to the material quality of the leather. Oh, definitely. Yep. I love. Makes me feel good when Yoshi P points out the thing. After I like, I'm like, oh yeah, I really like this, and then he's like, also, did you guys know? I'm like, noticing the things that Yoshi P cares about. That's I don't know. That's just cool. With this update, it's not just like there's leather that has a singular texture. There are a lot of different qualities of leather that we will we were able to portray. Just the intricacies, little things add up, so dude. Take a close look. Even on every little piece of gear. That's why updating your old, your, the old parts of your game and updating them and making them look new again is so invaluable. Final Fantasy chose to do it. World of Warcraft has done it through like Cataclysm in some ways, but not really since then. So they don't really update the old stuff. So we're coming around to more of it. Gilnea Silvermoon, probably. Look at this cowboy. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Hopefully they unfuck their nasty little hands. Um, but the lip shine, um, the Can you make their nasty little fucking gross hands better? Um, and the better? All the time? Rude? I mean rude. I've played a cat boy. They look like they're fucking having... And let's take a look at the I don't know what it's called. I don't want to make fun of... I don't know people deal with stuff. I don't want to make fun of it, but... This is the original. And the update. That's nice. Better shading. Much more... Looks much more like skin. They've done well with these darker skin tones. It looks nice. The lighting is way better and actually has texture. Um, right, so with dark skin, previously we only had the ability to sort of change the color. Also, they made the whites of the eyes whiter. Um, but now we have this See that? Shine and depth, uh, so that even if your character is in a dark environment, um, you will still be able to see uh, the features of your skin. Your eyes, your irises and pupils will be more pronounced now because there's the whites are actually white, not like a cream color. 
Black characters finally looking like black characters, yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, if you look at the screen on the back here, um, we have it's the same lighting, really. The skin looks really nice. They look totally different. So, Continuing on to excited for this one. Let's see. Wow. Wow. Wow, dude. I think that looks way better. Wow. Look at their uh, eyes, dude. They look, they don't look like they're staring through your soul anymore. The lips are way more rounded and softer. They don't just look like fucking shapers clay, molders clay, whatever they call it. Uh, in general, uh, all of the limitations better brow line. Had a really it doesn't look as Cro-Magnon. <laughs> I don't know if that's the word I should use. But you know what I mean? <laughs> brow is not quite as strong in, that, in the same way. Uh, I have a friend who is really obsessed with Rugadin, so I look forward to seeing how he will adjust his character uh, in light of these updates. Looks good. Oh, this one needs it so bad. This one needs it so bad. This is current. And That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's nice. Still needs it. This is good. Yeah. <laughs> no change. I thought there would be more. I thought there would be a little bit more, but it does look better. There's no question. Um, so similar to it's the definitely nails, there's um, when you look at each piece. Face was really affected, uh, by the, the lips, I think, I think the lips could be a little better still. But that's just my opinion. The nose is a huge improvement. Yeah, way softer. Doesn't look dead in the eyes anymore. Uh, but because we've been able to improve each part, um, they now blend together better. It looks less like they're just sort of a bunch of objects and shapes assembled. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah, it's way more natural. That's a really good point. Blending through the eyes, the nose, down into the... Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Um, also, the skin, um, overall, how it looks, sort of the, the clarity of the skin is also improved. I feel like I feel like a makeup commercial right now. Next, uh, Lala Fell Male. And updated. Better mouth. Definitely better eyes. Uh, so we actually tried so hard to update this that we maybe can't tell the difference. The gear looks so much better. Uh, Look at the, the fucking sash. The this is so much better. Holy shit. Yeah. A lot of the work that went into changing Lalafell is in the facial structure. The image we had of they softened it up. It was very edged and uh, polygonal uh, before. Uh, it's really, really uh, much uh, more natural, uh, rounder, softer. Uh, Low poly, I mean everything's polygonal, but lower poly. Um, so while maintaining this sort of cute and doll-like appearance of the, yeah, the cells, scarf is uh, we much make better adjustments to the eyelids to make them look more natural um, we rounded out the face yep. a bit better uh, the eyelids look much better uh, three separate tries to go over and over this until softer on the top not as arched and weird looking they look very tired here it's much more natural ears look way better yeah. Um, if you take a look at the gear here, uh, you can see that the cloth, um, similar to the leather from earlier, yeah, it's uh, is nice. Much it's really nice. Now we'll take a look at a Lalafell female. Nice. It's been updated like this. 
、えー、ラダフェン女性もですねやっぱり先ほどお伝えした通り男性と同じようにとにかく自然さを徹底して the blush is much better a little more diffused 女性できるように,、えー、ままるように、えー、不審してます Um, as with the Lollafell males,、um, we wanted to prioritize making them look more natural while still keeping them very cute and lovable. Yeah, the better hairlines、um, is a big we deal. We've opened up a lot more possible. Yeah, I really like that they're showing it's like half and half.、Creation. Like they show one is like a lighter tone typically and one is like a darker tone. I think that's nice. Not just look at all the same, <laughs> same white skins. <laughs> I think it's nice that they're choosing to highlight it, and it looks really good. They should. They should, just for the fact that it looks better. You know? It's cool.、Uh, so, with the dark skin, I think it's pretty obvious the quality of the skin on the face and the、yeah. depth of the structure there.、Um, do、Definitely. we have a lot of Lala Fells here? Eh, you know what? I'll give my Lala love. Give some Lala love. I don't play it right now, but it was one of my favorite ones that I did play. Because I got to really get into the whole black mage role playing and turn into a psychopath. That was fun. And a lot on the stream as well.、Uh, next more, an Aura male. And here's the updated version. Aura looks nice. The horns look real nice. Like the... I think the horns look really nice. So, as you can see, the、uh, texture of the dark skin、uh, is improved. And also, we've been taking on board your feedback、um, from what we showed previously.、Uh, and we are continuing to improve the horn and scales. Yeah, it looks really good. ね、ね Actual scales instead of stickers, yeah.、Uh, I think the texture, the improved textures,、uh, really help out with the horns and scales. The eyes look nice. Yeah.、ねいいね、<laughs> I, hope a, I hope a certain man、uh, can find his Nama now that he is graphically improved. <laughs> Little. Yeah. <laughs> Let's look at an Aura female now. Hey, this is Emra, let's go. It's the original. Hey, this is the original. I mean, that looks really good. That looks really good. So much more life in the eyes. The cheek line is way better. Way softer facial features. Oh, so much better. This one is significantly better.、Um, so these Aura females already had quite a smooth and delicate appearance, but、uh, we think we've. I mean, that's. If you can't see the difference between、still. these two, chat, I mean. Instead of this flat, stretchy kind of texture. We've used some special shaders for the eyes, so while you can still get that look that you're used to,、um, you can also get something、uh, slightly more defined in the eyes, like on the、uh, updated version example here. So, what they're saying is you can keep your liminal ring if you want it. You can keep that. And it's not going to look as, probably as nice, but you can get that bright look if you want to keep that. That's what I got from that just now.、Uh, because we are aware that among the Aura players, some of you really like that currently、uh, dead and soulless eye look that they have. Yeah. The, the ring is cool. It's, it's a cool option, and they should keep it. Yeah. That's good. That's good. If you adjust your parameters correctly, you can still get that. So just give it a go. Cool. ね、the lim is it limbal?、Uh, Liminal? Limbal? Regardless. To,、uh, you know what I mean. The eye ring.、Well, limbal? Okay, lim limbal. Yeah, yeah, okay. You want to get into character creation, don't you now? Really? I would love to. That'd be sick. I would love to get into character creation if I could. Money's next? Oh, what did he just say? We're still working out the details,、um, but I do want to get every one of you a free Fantasia along with this. What? That's sick.
グレードアップさせていただくためにも幻想薬お配りしようかなと思いますので、えー、ぜひですね、cool. それを使ってこだわりのね、さらに高品質な。I just stocked up on Fantasia's during the holiday sale. It's just a free one, free one anyway. Obviously, even though the update will overall raise the quality, there's still the possibility that it won't give you exactly the look that you want right away. So we do want to give you that Fantasia so that you can go into character creation and adjust your character to suit exactly what you want. That's awesome. That's awesome. Here we go. Next, we have a Rothgar. Let's see. Here we go. Next, we have a Rothgar. Let's see. Yeah, way better texture. You can actually see actual hair texture in the nose. Blends together here much better. Much better definition through the brow line and ears. Nice. The eyes look really nice. Uh, More glow. Not as flat. Very flat here. For the Hrothgar, we have distinctive fur shaders that will make their fur more realistic. Yeah. Um, it's better if you can sort of see it for yourself. Bemroth, please. Yeah, they announced it. I just don't know if they're going to show it. Yeah. Now Vieira Mail. So not yet. No in-game models yet. Uh, I mean, already he looks pretty good. And the updated version. I mean, he looks better. Better nose, better lips, better chin for sure. Definitely better eyes. Way better hair. Um, he already looked good, but we think we've brought him closer to our. That's also like a Themis hairstyle. I like that. More edgy with those shadows. Kind of looks like that. Um, so the shadows, of course, are much more natural, um, and also the distinctive features of the Viera are much easier to draw out now. It is the Themis hairstyle, I think. So sure. Please do go in and make the Viera of your dreams. Your dreams. And now we have a Viera female as well. And now we have a Viera female as well. And now we have a Viera female as well. That's the original. And the updated. They found a way to make bunny girls hotter, chat. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. Um, so you, as you can see, she's quite dark skinned, and our new shaders can handle that level of dark skin. Hell yeah. Lips look really good. Everyone drink some water. Honestly, Lord, give me strength to resist the bug. Bad in terms of displaying this type of dark skin. You enter a shadowy area, and it it all looks bad and falls apart. But with our new shaders, that will not be an issue. Good. Hell yeah. それから綺麗にね感じられるようになってますし、唇のねツヤなんかもしっかり出てるかと思います。Um and even with the already dark skin, you can see the effects of lighting and things like firelight is gonna look gorgeous on this skin. You you know that? 続いてなんですが、like low light with fire is gonna look amazing. さらに続き。It's gonna have such a nice, soft orange glow. It's gonna be fucking sick. G pose is gonna be on another level. I've brought some sample images, so let's take a look. Some armor updates. Yeah. This is the state of the skin. The next one. Okay, it's the armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The armor. So you die just the blue, nice. That's fuck. So on the left we have the original. That's fucking sick. And then in the middle we have the one die channel die affecting the cape. Well, not just the cape. Yeah, that's what we want right there. Now you will have two die channels to be able to create something like this. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Which allows you to color the armor. Make it black and red, dude. Oh, some white and black. I like that gear. That's really nice. Is that in the game currently? What the fuck is that? Or is that updated gear? What the fuck is that? Original status of this gear. 
Island Sanctuary? Oh, that's right. I need to catch up on that. That's sick. That's sick. Yeah, glamour contests are going to be a lot of fun. However, the uh, clothing itself would always remain white. Uh, but now you can dye both. Oh, that's so nice. Is this with graphics update? Um, so, yes. Yes, I, I, I think. I believe so. You can see the contrast now, and you might be able to judge me for my color choices. <laughs> that's nice too. That must be Here's Island Sanctuary as well. Piece of gear. A lot of the Island Sanctuary gear looks good. Look at that cat girl, by the way, dude. Look at how much better the hands and stuff are, dude. Oh man. That's not Island, it's older crafted. I don't give a shit what it is. It looks really nice with this update. It all looks new. It all looks like newer to me. Buttons are a little Why does this game look like it's on a PS1, bro? Bryce, shut up. Don't be. Why you always gotta be antagonizing? Shut up. People are already asking for solution, nine housing. Um, Always so the reason that the entire leather is not dyed is actually because the middle piece uh, is a different material right, different um, shader. system wise than the rest of it. Um, and this is a limitation that we will still have when creating these new gears. Uh, I mean, I, I can live with that. Channels. Uh, so you'll just have to sort of trust in the aesthetic sense of our design team to make sure that the right parts are being dyed. Huh. <laughs> Guys, don't 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 buy Bryce's trolling. You don't need to explain to him. He's being a fucking smart ass. Uh, but even though we can't promise that you will be able to die every single bit, um, we are doing our best to make sure that we are giving you the best options possible to customize your gear as much as possible and, uh, with the greatest amount of surface area being dyed. Um, so we are working hard on it, um, and we thank you for your patience. Fucking weeb game. プロデューサーレタライブなどをやって実際実機でねこう光を当てて動かしたりしながらまたお伝えしていこうと思いますのでぜひ楽しみにお待ちください。That can I get some water, please? What do you mean, let me guess he's a WoW player, bro? You're, I've literally played nothing but WoW for the last two months. <laughs> you can't use that as an insult anymore. Like, maybe you can. I'll still agree with some of it. Amazing. People don't still play WoW. It's fake. では、続いて各種お知らせに入っていこうかと思います。um, so we will be uh, having uh, our updated system requirements. Upgrade your shit. Um, we have announced these previously, but if you have not yet taken a look at them, uh, please do and make sure that your system uh, is up to spec. PC uh, anyone playing on PC who just realized that they had not yet updated how they needed to? 
あら結構結構いらっしゃいますねまだまだ結構いらっしゃいますねあまだ結構いらっしゃいますね向こうもだあなるほど結構いらっしゃいますね<笑>えこの日本のファンフェスティバル But can it play Minecraft? PC メーカーそれからデバイスメーカーの皆さんが協賛してくださっており協賛する世界もございますえー、まだですねグラフィックスアップデートに備えていらっしゃらない方はですねぜひ協賛ブースの方にお立ち寄りいただいてですね PC の買い替えなどデバイスの買い替えなどをご検討いただけると大変嬉しく思います Fortunately, we've partnered with several PC and device makers today, and they have a special booth set up so you can look at the equipment. So if you're not yet updated, maybe take a look over there and consider what upgrades you need. Hi. では続いてまあすでに expanded free trial. Free trial expanded to include Stormblood. As we mentioned previously, we've also expanded the free trial. えー、すでにねパッチ 6.5 から実施されてますがフリートライアルの範囲が 4.0、4.x シリーズへと拡大しています、えー、まだですね14の世界に飛び込んでいらっしゃらないお友達とかねご家族とか、あのー、興味持ってるよみたいな方を、えー、見つけた時にはですねぜひフリートライアルから若葉をこうバッて植え付けて、えー、参加させていただけると嬉しいです。So if you have any friends or family, or you just run into someone who's like I was considering playing, please voice this upon them as much as you can. Xbox, いよいよ Xbox One release. Open beta February. As far as Xbox goes, we will be beginning the open beta test in February. Are they saving Femroth for the end or are they literally not going to show them to us? I don't think they're going to show us in game models for Femroth right now, no. I, I, don't, that's, I wouldn't expect that right now. They only just showed her the cinematic. We're going we're gonna to see her in the pre patch content, though. She'll be in the game. They showed Boy Buns of JPFF? Maybe. There's a model on January 16th. Wow just hates consoles. You realize Wow is literally gonna be coming to consoles, right? Do some research, bro. You just fucking popping off with the cold, with the, with the, with the, the hottest of takes right now, bro. What are you talking about? そして続いてはえこちら新たなるクロスオーバークエストファイナルファンタジー16。You gonna see Femroth? Yes, in the trailer. Yeah. 順調にですね、もうマスターアップしております。And we are continuing our development of this new crossover with FF16. Didn't they talk about that at fucking BlizzCon? Or am I am I am I imagining that? Plan for early April. How do they pull that off? Microsoft owns Blizzard now. So we are planning to release this just before the the hype peaks for Dawn Trail, and as we've mentioned previously, we do have quite a nice variety. Did they confirm that? I want to say they said something about it at BlizzCon. Didn't they? Google it. Don't fucking know. Not what I'm talking about. Oh well, I don't know. So and also we have released our first DLC for 16. You might be aware. Yeah, I haven't played it yet. Seven point zero. Need to play it. Plus, after that, Final Fantasy sixteen's play will please 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 えー、すでにプレイしてくださった皆さんも DLC 含めよろしくお願いしますと So it's not confirmed yet. This is what GameRant says. The idea of an those of you who are already playing 16, please check out the DLC and thank you very much. The idea of an Xbox version is being discussed internally. The inclusion of console-friendly features such as native controller support in recent updates suggests that a console port of World of Warcraft could likely be in the future. 気がするのでさあファンフェス始めましょうか
That's what it says. Oi, mate, mate, Yoshida san. One last thing. One last thing. Am I forgetting something? Something froth, froth. Rothgar? Ukramato? No? Okay, there you go. There you go, Jay. Yes. They saved it till the end. <laughs> I I totally thought All new awesome. from the ground up, not redesigned, not redesigned, brand new. Let's see. Oh, they got they got some figure chat. All right, we're in good shape. I think it looks pretty good. Ah, that's good. I like the red animation, not bad. I think in game it looks really good. I think the facial structure is really good. Nice walk. Wish there was a little more neck movement in the walking and stuff, but... Don't want it to look like a rubber band neck. <laughs> Ooh. Use some of these emotes. I think it looks good. Ooh, the one on the right looks really good. The narrower nose option, I think that looks really good. Holy shit. Thank you. After a long wait, we will finally be implementing the last race, female Rothgar. The last race. Huh. Uh, we did our best uh, to straightforwardly make these as uh, sleek and strong looking as possible. Last race till the next one. From Northern Ilsabad. Um, as you know, uh, what we have for the Hrothgar currently is that they hail from Ilsabard. Uh, ah, nice. Nice, nice. Um, so you will be aware of this uh, from the setting we have in game already, but uh, female Hrothgar are typically rare, uh, but they do have surpassing leadership qualities. Uh, as far as Tural goes, uh, they have a uh, home in Yaktel. Um, so please Rogan vs. Rothgar muscle face off. もちろんね、プレイヤーの皆さんがキャラクターとしてご自身のね。uh, and of course, you will be able to play as them as well. So, Femroth or girl bosses? Well, they're kind of like night elves. You know, like night elven women are typically like leaders in their civil, in their like society and stuff, their civilization, whatever. And I have continually said throughout these ten years that this will be the last one. It's cool. Amazonian. Yeah, I like that, yeah. yeah. Okay. And I'd like to say this will be the last one, uh, but perhaps I can't. It depends on you. Oh. I can't believe you said it looks fuck ugly, Jay. You're a fucking bitch. Uh. <laughs> Wuklamat that we introduced earlier is also a female Hrothgar, um, and she is really a lovely character. So look forward to meeting her. It does, it looks awful. <laughs> Shut <laughs> the fuck up. I hate you so much. 
終わりにしていこうと思います。Okay, and now with that, we are finally done with the keynote. では最後こちらを紹介して締めにしたいと思います。Looks like an actual cat face. I would like to show you one more quick thing. The mouth looks a little squished. Uh, who is that at the top there? はい、こちら吉田明子さん書き下ろしのアートとともに気象公演締めたいと思います。Uh, so with this art from Yoshida Akiko, we will end the keynote. Thank you. Is that an ancient? 黄金のレガシー、ちゃんと出します。2024年に出します。発売となります。We will, I assure you, released on trail in 2024. Is it an Allegan? 発売日、コレクターズエディション予約特典。I didn't see any twins. No twins, lol. I didn't see Graha Tia either. No zero? Um, and we will get the information on when the pre order date is, as well as all of the. It looked like one of the two uh, factions. Uh, ah, bonuses, maybe that's only uh, half of them. Ah, maybe some of them are on that team, and then the other side's. Ooh. Good thinking. Let's rewatch the trailer. And it's 1440p now, instead of a shitty Twitch stream. Ah, blue seas, clear skies, and boundless possibilities. <laughs> I dare say our destination will soon be in sight. Enjoying yourself for a change? This looks nice. A little less compressed now. It'll be compressed for you guys. The full theme's nice. Come now. There's no cause for panic. This one might make for a worthy opponent. That'd be a sick background right there. Were those Kryle's butterflies? Could have been. <laughs> Did she create that to hinder the opposing team? Ooh, let me go back to this. Let me see what you mean by that. Looks like more. I mean, maybe. This one might make for a worthy opponent. I think they're just there, but it's cool to think about. They try to eat Kryle's painting. <laughs> yeah, Kryle painted this thing. <laughs> Probably not. Look at those steaks, dude. Damn. Like the golden shimmer up in the temple. By the way, the image on the seat. Is that an owl? Interesting. That. Wings. Could be an eagle. Be an owl. Probably an eagle, considering the theme.
let you have a moment to speak further. I like this, like, uh, the concept of the Scions kind of splitting up and competing against one another is fucking cool. The more that I realize that they're kind of illustrating that throughout this, like, cinematic, the more that I'm kind of digging the theme. I think it's gonna be fun. It'll be kind of fun to have that, like, kind of... that rivalry going, you know? Like, who's better? You know? Let's put Yashtola and fucking Thancred and Grahatia against Kryl and fucking... you know... Dude, I can't. I'm like losing my train of thought. This scene is so cool. Ah, oh, it's so sick, dude. I can't wait to play pick though. I can't wait, dude. Cry looks so good. This might be one of my favorite, honestly, cinematics ever. Just for this part, dude. It is absolutely gorgeous, dude. Look at that. Oh my god, you guys have to watch this uncompressed on your own- on your own screens. Like, even you, what you're getting is gonna be compressed from- from me. You have to watch this. You have to watch this at, like, the highest resolution that your monitor can see it. And YouTube is still gonna compress it, but I'm telling you, it looks way better than it did on stream. It's way better. Amanda's going crazy? Yeah, of course she is. The vocals, you know. Oh, I liked how it did that. How it was like ether, like dissipating into the water. Look, my friends. That gives me big ethereal sea vibes. And Alphano looks so good. You and your Look at his smile. I trust you have not forgotten the true purpose of our voyage. Last, we have come to the land you call the new world. My home. Nice. I get what Jay's saying. I think it does look better in the game, but who cares? I'm gonna watch the cryo part again. It's so good. Could you guys imagine? Could you imagine if the cinematic team at Square Enix teamed up with the cinematic team at Blizzard? Oh, ho, 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 ho. shit! That would be unfucking believable, dude. <laughs> oh man, that'd be oh man, that'd be crazy. That would be insane. Square Enix has always had banger cinematics, and honestly, so has Blizzard. Between Diablo and WoW, it's pretty incredible. Oh, it's so vibrant, dude. I just love how vibrant and luminous it is. It's so beautiful, dude. Oh, it's, that's so sick. That's such a sick view, dude. Look at all the lights down below. Ugh. Oh, the overhead view they give you the city is just so sick. The light kind of going into the darkness there, time passing. Dude, that's such a cool shot. How they go from like light to day there, how you like see the stars just streak across the sky right here is so, dude. I'm like gushing over the cinematic work that they've done here. It is gorgeous. Right here. Oh, dude. What the hell? That's so sick. That's so cool. It's like Grand Canyon vibes almost, but with water. There. Look, my friends. Behold the scene of our next great adventure. You and your adventures. Battle on the Long Bridge. I trust you have not forgotten the true purpose of our voyage. Last, we have come to the land you call the New World. Do you know how difficult, so I, I talked to uh, Taryn Gregory, and I think I saw it in an interview as well. 
how difficult it is to actually animate Gen Greymane. I think I was talking to him and he said, yeah, we actually almost didn't put Gen into the cinematics because it's so hard to animate something covered in fur like that. And so when you see this, like, the amount of work to make the fur on her shoulder here, like some of it move with the wind, but some of it not. Like, I, can, I don't think I can express, like, how much work that takes. Like, I trust you have not, not to mention the clothing. Yeah. Like, Last we are come to the that, you I mean, new world. Oh. We're not that far from photorealism. <laughs> I mean, I'm a. Like, I'm. Between this cinematic bet and the fucking. The War Within cinematic, we're, we're really not that far, dude. We're, we're like. I mean. Ugh, some of this shit is like. Dude, that was sick. I'm excited, man. I, I, I can't wait to hear more of the stuff that comes out of FanFest. Like I told you guys, man, I. You know, just because I've been playing WoW doesn't mean I'm done with, with Final Fantasy. I still love Final Fantasy. This shit's not going anywhere. You know, um, I got my uh, um, Encyclopedia uh, Eorzea uh, Volume 3, so I'll be checking that out um, soon. I'd like to see if there's anything hinting at what we might find in the new world in there, so I gotta get in there and check it out. Plus, there's some other stuff. So, um, so yeah, I will definitely be playing both. Um, so, yeah. Uh, it's not like, you know, I'm doing one and not the other, so.